Tanto, Kimasabe, jump on it, jump on it. Good morning. I still didn't get coffee. I just woke up. Um, I just woke up and I had the phone propped up, but... I had the phone propped up, but then I had to take it down because I think you can see one of my nips in this shirt and you guys get crazy when you can see one of my nips. So I'm holding it up here. Don't worry, I will, I'll protect your virgin eyes. I got you. Oh, you can listen to the radio show, actually, and come back and watch this. I'm so tired. I literally just woke up like five minutes ago. Um, okay, so, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Coffee Talk. We lost the hip-hop legend, Love Bug Starsky. That sucked. It's crazy, because a lot of these hip-hop pioneers are going to start to go, um, which makes me sad. But I am live from New York. Who wants to see New York? Let me show you. Because I know there's some of you who have never even been to New York. Hold on, going the wrong way here. You can go your own way. Go your own way. You can call it under. Start spreading the news. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. There's nothing you can do. Hold on. Look what's right outside my window. Chicago. Chicago. Imagine if there was a man in my bed. You guys would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's no man in my bed, but that shit would be funny. Um, anyway, I, um, I... I had such a good time last night. I didn't really even do anything. I went to Soho House with my friends and my work wife. And Kelly Rutherford came. I know you guys saw the picture. That was great. But you know what the best part of it was? I was at the Soho House for five hours with no phone service. No phone service. So for five hours, I hung out with my friends. Couldn't get my phone to work. So I just focused on my friends. I didn't post on social media. I didn't text anybody. I just had conversation for five hours and it was so great. Um, and then after we were done, we walked outside and there was this restaurant. It was popping. Okay. Alexandra, 23rd and Park. I'm in, I'm uh, in the theater district. Um, so anyway, uh, this restaurant was jumping. So I'm like, yo, I'm going dancing. So everyone was like, Jamie, we're so tired. I'm like, I'm going dancing. So we went to this restaurant. I was like, they were playing hip hop. And everybody was, it was so fun. I'm such a dancer. Meanwhile, I had my beanie hat on, my backpack. Asked me if I was sweating. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how bad I was sweating, but I didn't care. I didn't care. Um, I had a great time. And then I was asleep by like 1.15, which for me basically might as well have been. I was up all night. Um, and then I got up. I woke up at 6.45 and was like, no, no, go back to sleep. And then I woke up at like 9.15 and I was like, yes. It's a clock behind my head. In your head, in your head, zombie. Um, so anyway... Uh, I was having a conversation last night about pain and how often as I poke myself in the eyeball because I slept in my mascara. I was having this really smart conversation last night about pain and how women especially love to say, no, I'm fine. 
that we're fine. We think a lot of times that if we don't give pain attention, it will go away. The truth is you cannot eliminate pain by pretending it is not there. That is not a thing. Um, it Pain is there to force you to make a change. Pain is in your life to force you to make change. If you ignore it, the pain will grow. It will throb. It will seep into your bones. It will take over your life. You cannot ignore it. You must address it. And when people always say to me, why do you have to bring everything up with Michael? People love to say that to me. You can't let anything go. You got to bring everything up. I go, yeah, because you know what? You know what pain and resentment will do? They will eat me alive. They will age me and take me to the grave years before I'm ready to go. I will not ignore pain or disappointment or resentment. I will address it and work through it because I'm not, I know they don't go away. They get worse. And when we were talking last night about pain, it was so eye-opening for people because you'd be amazed at how many people assume if you just ignore pain, that it will go away. And the truth is, pain is a receptor. It comes to you to warn you about something. It comes to you to invoke change. It's not gonna just go away. That's not how pain works. You have to 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 address it you have to acknowledge it you have to address what is causing the pain and then you've got to take steps to eliminate it if you don't it stays ask anybody who's ever been in pain over someone or with someone people always say if you give it time no the only way pain goes away if you give it time is if you make a change by eliminating the person who hurt you Eventually, over time, the pain will subside and turn into some sort of weird, gray, sadness soup. But it doesn't go completely away. It just changes. So, I'm not saying not to feel pain. Feel it. You got to feel it. Don't avoid it. But you have to, like, feel it and then address it. You cannot pretend that fear is not there. You cannot eliminate, not fear, what am I talking about? This is because I haven't had coffee. You cannot pretend that pain is not there and expect it to go away. It's just not a thing. It's not real. It's not real. So remember that when you feel pain, or sadness know that this is what Jamie looks like without coffee and also you will never eliminate pain by pretending it's not there it's just it, it, it's not a thing and I don't know if it's You have to deal with it. You have to. And I want that for you, by the way. Like, I desperately want that for you. I desperately want you to get to a place in your life where you're like, this person has caused me pain. I'm going to address it head on, and then I'm going to release it into the world. Instead of harboring it, instead of pretending I'm fine, instead of making them think, no, 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 it's okay. It didn't hurt. It's fine. No, F that. When somebody hurts you, it's okay to let them know. It's okay to address it so that you can properly heal from it. People like to, um, they like to pretend the pain's not there. They never want to ruffle anyone's feathers. Um, Tracy, how do you get over the hurt? It's a process, girl. It's a process. But the pain is telling you to make a change. So if the change is that you need to leave that person... Um, then you got to do it. And if you left them, you got to let yourself, you got to give yourself time to grieve. Nobody can tell you how long it should take to get over pain. But you'll never get over pain pretending it's not there. It just won't happen. 
I love you guys. Um, today, I'm going to hopefully see Mary and Brandy. Hi, Sheila. And I'm going to the freestyle concert tonight at Radio City Music Hall, and I am so excited if I can muster the energy to get out of this bed and go find coffee. It'll be a start. I love you so much. I love you so much. I want you to have a great, great day. Oh, wait, let me do Wounded Warrior. Yeah, no, you can't just... Yes, I have a radio show on right now. I had to pre-record it, but it's on right now. I'm going to go listen to it. I love you guys so much. Have a great, great day.